Do you ever wonder exactly how much electricity you do use? Now this could be of interest to you if you're looking at running your appliances, for example your computer um, on solar power or wind power. Um, I'll show you how to do it, it's quite easy. To do this you're going to need a few bits and pieces. This is a digital multimeter clamp meter that's capable of measuring AC current. Now you can get these for less than £10 now. These are some side cutters to cut through your insulation. These are some scissors to cut the insulation off. Some tape to make a nice neat job when you've done. Okay, we need to carefully, and I mean carefully, expose the conductor. So if we carefully cut the insulation away, you will get to it. You don't want to cut through any of your conductors. And once you've made a start, and get your scissors. These aren't going to do any damage provided you miss the conductors. Cut plenty off. So you can see. So you've got all the conductors exposed. Um, this will be the one that we we're interested in. The brown obviously. And we will just simply put the clamp meter around it to take the measurements. Now rather than cut it away like I did. You can obviously remove the plug. Cut it a little bit shorter, about here. Strip, strip it back down here, and put your plug back on. Um, one thing, because you have exposed the conductors, you should only ever use this now for taking these measurements that we're going to do. Better to be safe than sorry. Right, now we've got everything ready. Let's do some measuring. Right, this is the plug into the main supply. This is the main supply. This is obviously the clamp meter on the live wire. This goes off, this wire goes off to the supply that's going to power the computer, the speakers, the modem, the monitor. Right, let's switch it on, see what we get. Four. Point, point four. 0.5 0 0.6 Yeah, drive's kicked in 0.6 Settling down to point five, or point 0.5 again Point six, point six five. So that's the speakers, the modem, what was the computer and the monitor. Point six, point six six. Now the computers started up it's jumping around 0.58 and then down to 0.4 then and then back up to 0.6 so 0 0.4, 0 0.79 0 0.5, 0 0.59 so for calculation purposes we'll, we'll call it 0.6 there they were 0.6 then from the measuring we got 0.6 amps so power consumption in watts equals volts times amps measured with the clamp meter so power consumption is watts used 230 volts times 0.6 amps gives us 138 watts we know that 1 kilowatt equals 1000 watts and 1 kilowatt hour kilowatt hour equals 1000 watts used for one hour. If you use the computer for 10 hours a day we can calculate this and see what it costs on your electricity bill.
we know the computer power is 138 watts so times that by 10 hours in each day multiplied by 365 days in the year and then we divide that by a thousand to get the kilowatt hour so this is the sum 138 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 365 divided by a thousand gives 503.7 kilowatt hour now my electricity costs me 13.15 pence per kilowatt hour that's what it costs so therefore it costs 66 pounds 14 to use the computer for 10 hours every day in a year